Want to generate a GSLT to run your game server? I'm Rowan from Shockbyte and in this tutorial video I'm going to be showing you how to generate and use a GSLT for your game server. Many source games, such as Garrymod, prefer you to have what is known as a GSLT in order to run your server. This is done to ensure that servers are created by real people and to add accountability to someone if those servers violate the game's terms of service. In order to be able to generate a GSLT, you must have a Steam account that is not banned or blocked, is not limited, has a qualifying registered phone, owns the game for the server you are making a key for, and has not reached the cap of 1000 GSLT keys. Also, it is important to note that if your server is found to be breaking Valve's terms of service, the server and your linked Steam account may be banned. To get a game's app ID on Steam, you'll first need to head to the Steam store. Then you'll want to search for the base game, not the DLC. Then open the game's page. Refer to the game page's URL and you'll need to copy the numbers that come after the slash app slash. For example, for CSGO, it is 730. First, make sure that you are logged in to the Steam Community website. Once you're logged in, navigate to the Steam Game Servers account website. At the bottom of the page, paste the app ID value the game you just got. So 7.30 for CSGO. For this tutorial, however, I'm going to be using Gary's mod, which has an app ID value of 4,000. Add a memo or a note if you want. Then click create, and your GSLT is the login token that will appear. To add your GSLT to your server, log into the server control panel. Then, from the menu on the left, click Files, Config Files. Select Server Settings Config File. Then, add your GSLT to the Steam GSLT Config option. Then, press Save at the bottom of the page. And start your server! If you found this video useful, then please leave a like and subscribe for more game server tutorials such as this one.